Hey everyone, Dominic here. Mail call, mail call. Today, I got myself, well, I'd have to say, well, I did get it for myself. Somebody wanted to send it to me for for a quick review, or at least a review. I uh, I just got it today, so I won't be able to give a full review on how I, I think, you know, how I think it performs or anything like that. Uh, but today I got a Kislar. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's Russian. So maybe Kislar. I don't know. I, I, I don't know Russian. Kislar Supreme. There's a website if you want to check them out. Comes in a fancy, well not super fancy, but it's a cardboard box with a magnetic uh, closure. And that's all you really get in it. You know, your gel pack and a warranty card and a, piece, and a plastic cover. Well, who really cares? Like, uh, today, I don't know. There's your um, model number if you wanted model numbers. Um, I don't know what the trend is. I don't know what, what the big deal is with packaging today. Uh, people and packaging. Here's a small rant before I go into the knife, okay? People and packaging. Oh, does it have a box? Oh, does it come with a, a um, microfiber sleeve? Oh, like, like guys. Are you buying a knife or are you buying the box? Like seriously, grow up a little bit, eh? Like stop being such fuck. <clears throat> stop being such a kid. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just, it's it's angering. Sorry, as you can tell, I'm angry with uh, with that kind of stuff. It's like, do you think the knife company is gonna give it to you for free? No, they're gonna cut costs in production to give you a. A better knife, a better, uh, a better package. You know what I mean? Just give me the, just give me the knife. I, like I mean, I just want the package for uh, sake of, uh, for proof of purchase, really. And like, if I decided I wanted to trade it or sell it to somebody, I have package for proof of purchase. Uh, and really, if it was just a damn cardboard uh, sleeve with with their name on and and, and uh, skew on it that's fine i don't want super nice packaging like that magnet costs money this this super nice box costs money you know like i don't need it uh, what do i do with it i take the box and i throw it in a dark closet for years anyhow back now off to the knife uh a guy wanted to send it to me for free uh as a gift because uh, he likes my vids and he kind of wants to help me out with uh, promoting them and stuff and that that's and I you know like thank you very much I can't name him because he wanted to name he wanted to remain anonymous uh, he wanted to buy this for me uh, I I refused uh, that I refused that he was for him to pay for it I didn't want him to pay for it uh, it's just me uh, maybe just my my upbringing you know more of an old school upbringing um, you know you do for yourself right so but I thank them very much for turning me on to the knife uh, showing it to me and I said I'll buy it it was $95 American uh, well worth it just just in my first impressions well worth it just in style it comes with a d2 blade it's called the whisper as you probably already saw on the package here um, g10 g10 scales and as you can probably already tell, it's reminiscent of a Japanese Tanto. And the Japanese Tantos and Katanas had that upswept blade. And here, here it has an upswept blade uh, with a tie knife finish. It also comes in a black G10 with a tie knife stone wash finish. And that's, that's sexy too. I like that. That's nice. Oh, and the G10 here is uh, milled out with a couple of standoffs on the back, one on the front, and a buried, a buried uh, blade stop pin. The screws don't poke out the outside of this. So yeah, it's meant to look like a, 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 a traditional Japanese Tanto with a, you know, some modern styling to it. 
uh, made in Russia. Again, I just love it just because it's made in Russia. I mean, like, how many Russian knives do you see around in uh, the Americas? Not many, right? Um, again, first impressions, it's a liner, liner lock, which locks up really nicely, actually. Uh, no blade play whatsoever, no uh, lock rock. Um, and they they put a good uh, a good uh, slant on that um, on that tang so that it gives you plenty of years of use of wear in ambidextrous thumb studs that are quite sharp they grip onto your finger very positively and you can deploy the blade without any wrist flick this is definitely a a fidget toy for me like it like it love it actually um, just a little quick little, um, I guess you call it a history lesson. Japanese stylings, if you don't know this already, uh, as far as handles are concerned, are always neutral. Neutral meaning there are no indexing, there's no finger grooves for your fingers to sink into. Uh, you know, basically, no matter which way you grip the handle, here you can't call it 100% neutral because it does have a, a um, as you can see, it's not completely symmetrical up at the top here, but it's close enough. Um, but the Japanese style handles have always been in a neutral. Neutral meaning, again, like I said, no no differences in any which way you hold the knife. You can hold it in all four positions and it feels the same all the way through. It allows you to put your thumb over the top for extra control. Just an awesome little knife this is. Comes with a stylish little pivot. You like my Japanese music in the background? Got a theme going here. I like my Japanese, uh, traditional Japanese music. Um, yeah, so it's got a uh, a handle that's supposed to emulate uh, Edo rap, battle rap. It's got a nice, super deep pocket clip, which is only tip up right hand cannot swap it so for you lefties sorry but uh, I'm sure you lefties have long since learned how to uh, adapt to the right hand world um, you can still I'm not a lefty but I can you know very easily deploy the knife left sorry about the grungy fingers I've been working in the garage polishing knives and things and I got like stains that cannot really come out. I've been really tried, but you're not here to look at my hands. You're here to look at knives. Um, yeah, back to the left hand thing. You can still deploy it left hand, even though I'm not left hand, I can still do it. So you'd have to put it in your pocket and draw it out this way where you would have to sort of, you know, get the knife out of your pocket and, and get under the knife. So, I mean, it's still pretty simple. I mean, unless you have like motor control, motor, uh, motor skill issues, uh, you can still get around doing it. So it's fine. Um, sits very low, low profile once it's closed. So these are my first impressions because I didn't have any chance of, uh, using it yet. I just got it and then I had lunch and, uh, and then I started this video. It rides on bronze phosphor wa uh, washers and it's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth for just out of the box, and it's just going to get smoother as the as the days go on with me playing it, playing with it, because this is definitely going to be a, a fidget toy for me. Here, let me just go down here with it now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a free fall, and it's not going to be a free fall, but you know what? Pretty smooth. Can't complain. Sure, I can complain, but... What am I really going to see now if I stop to think about what I'm going to complain about? Uh, I'm not, I can't. It's got a, it's, it's just a nice, simple design. 
and it's made very well. The fit and finish is just great on this thing. Um, yeah, there's no sharp edges, there's no hot spots. This little, uh, this little, uh, I guess, whatever you'd call it here, notch can provide for a little bit of a thumb ramp. Feels pretty good. Yeah, there's no jimping, but I'm not a, I'm not a, it's not make or break it, make or break with me when it comes to jimping. So yeah, it's pretty good. It does have some texturing here on the liner so that you don't slip off while you're disengaging. It just feels great. Oops. It just feels great. I like this. I can definitely play with this knife. Um, I can see myself carrying this very much. Thank you. I almost mentioned your name and I shouldn't. <laughs> Thank you very much for turning me on to this knife. Um, I will do another review once I've had it in my pocket for a week or so and uh, get back to you on what I think about it. Um, but right now, as it stands, it's a great, great knife. It's got a good, the pocket clip, just to go back to the clip again, it's got a good thickness to it and it's got good tension. So I could see it, uh, I did put it in my pocket just to see how it rode. It's got a lanyard hole and it rides fine and it rides super low, disappears obviously as you can see how far that uh, that clip goes if this was your pocket. It just disappears completely which is what you want when you have a deep carry that's why you have a deep carry so that it just says says bye bye <laughs> when you when you put it in your pocket so yeah that's pretty good i like that i'm 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 uh, again uh, deep carry is not a necessity for me for some of you it is for me it's not i don't care if people see that i have a knife on me police or not because uh i have nothing to fear i am not a bad guy and uh if a police officer were to talk to me, they, they would instantly know that I'm uh, I'm one of the good guys. So, anyhow. Um, yeah. Instead of rambling on and on and on, I'll, I'll cut it here. And uh, say thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm going to be making some more. I got a couple more knives coming to me. Uh, I have a Microtech uh, Troodon. Combat Troodon on the way. I'll be doing a review on that one. It's a used one, so, um, but nonetheless, it's still my first micro, Microtech Troodon, and uh, I'll be doing a review on that one, and I will be doing a review on a Code 4 Cold Steel. That would be my first Code 4, not my first Cold Steel, that's for sure. I've been waiting for this particular Cold Steel for a long, long time. So I'll be doing a couple of those reviews. And for now, I will be signing off and saying sayonara.